Hand washing is a critical practice that we can employ to safeguard ourselves and others from the transmission of germs and illness. It is a straightforward yet highly effective measure to prevent the spread of diseases, including the flu, colds, and COVID-19. Regular hand washing is crucial for maintaining good hygiene, particularly before and after food handling, restroom use, and public exposure. By frequently washing our hands, we can promote both personal and community health and safety. Hand washing with soap removes germs from hands. This helps prevent infection because we are frequently touching our eyes, nose, and mouth without even realizing it. Germs can get to our body through the eyes, nose, mouth, and make us sick. So regular hand washing is one of the best ways to remove germs, avoid getting sick, and prevent the spread of germs to others. Whether you are at home, at work, traveling, or out of the community, that is why hand washing properly with soap and water is important. of activities that require washing hands both before and after doing them to maintain good hygiene. First is eating. Before every meal or snack, it is important to wash your hands to remove any dirt or germs. After eating, hand washing helps eliminate any residue from your hands and mouth. Second is handling waste and recycling. Before handling trash or recyclable store, hand washing is necessary to prevent the transfer of germs. After disposing of waste materials, washing hands ensures cleanliness. Third is handling money. Money can come from anywhere. It carries various germs and contaminants. Washing hands after handling cash, coins, or using ATMs can minimize the risk of transferring these contaminants to the face or food. Fourth is taking care of pets. Before and after handling pets, including feeding, grooming, or cleaning up after them. Hand washing is crucial to minimize the risk of disease transmission. Last is handling contact lenses. Before touching contact lenses, it's essential to wash your hands thoroughly to prevent eye infections after removing or inserting lenses. Five do's and don'ts in a preparation area, particularly in a kitchen or food preparation setting. To ensure safety and hygiene. Wash your hands clean. Wash your hands with soap and warm water for at least 20 seconds and 1 minute before handling any food. After using a restroom and right after handling any potentially contaminated surfaces. Use proper cutting boards. Use cutting boards separately for raw foods, vegetables, and poultry to prevent cross contamination. Each of the cutting boards should be clean and sanitized between uses. Cook food to save temperatures. Use food thermometer to ensure that the meat, vegetables, or any food are cooked to save internal and light temperatures. Follow recommended guidelines to prevent food borne illnesses. Properly. Store perishable items in the refrigerator to prevent bacterial growth. Separate the foods that are cold and warm, such as the raw meats from vegetables, to avoid contamination. Last dose, 
always clean and sanitize surfaces. Regularly clean and sanitize your surfaces such as the utensils and kitchen equipment that you are going to use to remove bacteria and prevent the spread of germs. Don't. Don't use the same cutting board, knife, or utensils from wet and dry food without cleaning them. Don't leave your food unattended. Always look after on what you're cooking as if it may lead to overcooking or burning the food. Stay attentive in your kitchen while you're cooking. Don't leave the frozen at the room temperature because it may lead bacteria. Use safe schematics like refrigerator, cold water, or microwave for throwing. Don't let your refrigerator be overloaded. Overcrowding the refrigerator can obstruct proper air circulation, leading to uneven cooling. Maintain the spacing to ensure the food safety. Don't taste the food with the same utensil. Avoid using the same utensil that you use for food tasting. Instead, use other equipment to prevent contamination. It's important to follow certain guidelines when working in the food preparation area in order to maintain the good hygiene practices and prevent the spread of foodborne illnesses.